If you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I am a color specialist located in Honolulu, Hawaii. And if you're a returning viewer, I just want to say thank you for joining me on my YouTube journey. I still currently have under 200 subscribers, which is kind of like sad, but I am still very grateful that I am able to put out content for you all. And I very much, of course, enjoy the likes and the comments. It really um, gives me the motivation to post more. So just drop something below, ask me questions. Let me know if you like these types of videos or what other content you want to see from me. And I would love to keep in touch with you all. Okay, so today I have something fun to show you. I am going to do a tutorial on how to retouch your money piece. And if you don't know what a money piece is, it's pretty much these pieces right around the face. As you can see on me, it's like these pieces right here. So it brings a lot of brightness to the face and it really helps to kind of create a more beachier vibe to your color. Everything that will go up into like a ponytail, all this darkness will be lightened. And I am going to also show you guys a tool that I think would help a lot. You may or may not know about it, but just stay tuned and let's just jump right into it. Starting at your natural part, measure half inch on each side and create a straight line. I have mixed up Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Bleach with 20 volume. Ratio I use was 1 to 1, which is equal parts bleach and developer. The consistency of your bleach should be thick and sticky. This will help the foil stay in place and prevent slippage. Take your time and make your sections clean. This step makes all the difference for great results. Now working on the sides, we're going to be taking a quarter inch section. This 3D balayage comb is the most handy tool if doing highlights on your own. Grab the quarter inch section and place the hair in the comb and gently pull down. Grab the pieces of the hair that is left on top, place into a foil and apply bleach. Saturate well and blend into previous highlights. Next, take another quarter inch section, but this time we will be doing a slice. The section should be thin enough for you to see through it. Follow the same rules and apply the bleach. And now for our last section on the side, we are going to be mimicking the first foil that we did. So take another quarter inch section and grab your balayage comb to weave out the highlights. mimic the same procedure to the other side. Now on to the top. Take a quarter inch section and highlight using the balayage comb.
sometimes these pieces by our face can be extra fragile so if you have a lot of lightening already make sure to not overlap too much our next section will be a quarter inch slice again fine enough to be able to see through it make sure to saturate well as these are the pieces that you will see the most of when you take out your foils our third foil is going to be similar to the first foil we just did so take another quarter inch part and use the 3D balayage comb to take out the highlights. Then for our last foil, grab the hair that is left out and tease the whole thing. Apply the bleach and leave about one inch of root untouched. Blend the line of demarcation the best you can. It is easiest to do when tilting the brush sideways. If your hair does not have any old existing highlights or face framing color, pull the hair that is left between the foils together, tease, and apply bleach starting from the halfway point and down. Here I am just demonstrating since I already do have lightened pieces already that I don't need to do it. But if you don't, I highly suggest that you do this second part. You would do the same to the top and to both sides. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and my hair is super stubborn. My natural level is like a level one, level two. So that's why my hair can endure like this much strength and a volume um, for a developer as well as it being left on for this long. Um, I would make sure if you have finer hair or if your hair is damaged, I would make sure to just continuously open your foils kind of tug on the bleach areas and make sure that it's not starting to stretch. If it's starting to stretch, you want to take it out and just kind of tone it as it is because it will break. So just keep that in mind. Um, what I ended up doing is I didn't film this because it was going to be too messy. So I just did it in the bathroom and everything that was left out of my foils, um, I actually went back in and opened each foil and just um, kind of blended the bleach down to the mids and ends so everything has bleach on it now and you only want to do this when you're almost done processing because you don't want your already lightened ends to be too damaged so I'm going to show you what my foils are currently looking like this side is the side I first started with so it's almost done so you can see I dragged everything through and I definitely recommend doing that over a sink <laughs> and the trick to this is make sure when you you know do saturate the mids and ends fold it the same way that you did the first time so you just kind of want to copy exactly how you folded it the first time so just follow the the breaks that it already has in the foils okay so i did that to pretty much everything i didn't um pull my first foil in because these pieces are just already so light so i didn't want to compromise it anymore this is the section I ended with last, so I'm going to show you what I mean when it's not quite ready yet. So you can kind of see the difference between my first section and this one right here. I wanted to get past this like orange stage, so I'm going to leave this on longer. What I will probably do is take out the pieces on my sides first, and I'll let the other ones process it more longer okay and I'll be right back 
Okay, so this is me straight out of the shower. Everything looks great. Um, I love how it turned out. You can see that there's all this lightness in the front. I don't hate this lift that happened. I think that it turned out really good. And this is due to having great saturation and being patient with the bleach. As I showed you earlier, my top part was still orange, but I waited a couple more minutes and look how pretty it is now. So you wanna be patient. I always tell you know people to not rely on toner. You wanna get the lift right the first time around and putting toner on is just like a bonus, but you don't wanna ever have to fix lifting problems with a toner, if that makes sense. Um, so you could honestly just leave it here and enjoy your new fresh money piece. Or I wanted to throw in a bonus video and that is to like how to tone your hair. So I'm gonna add a part two to this because I feel like if I add it to this one clip, it's just gonna be way too long. So I hope um, to link it up right around here and you can click that one if you're interested in knowing how to tone your hair and what toner I prefer to use and how I go by it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.